Welcome back. How are you feeling? Um, I feel good. You know, I mean, really, I'm just ready to go home at this point, but I feel good. Home, like back to the hotel or home, home? Airbnb, yeah. Okay. Oh, you see you had an Airbnb. Is that a perk of being a main event? No, that's me taking care of myself, taking care of my body and giving me everything I need to put myself in the best position possible to get the job done. So what does the Airbnb do for you? Is it because you can cook your own food? You have your own space? What's so I got my nutritionist here right now. Um, I have my boxing coach, Brian Hall from Memphis, my strength and conditioning coach, Skeisha, Mike Skeisha from uh, Extreme Studio Performance in Dallas. Uh, my brother is there. My wife is there. Uh, Dr. Mann from Reform Sports Re Rehab is going to be here soon. Um, I'm just taking care of myself, man. Uh, I just, you do championship, you get champion results. So I'm trying to do championship. And this is the first fight of the year for you, and it's a main event. Where do you go from here? Win this. What's the next goal for this year? The next goal, the next goal is simple. You know, I, I, I want something. I want something. And I, I'm coming for it. You're going to wait to say it after the fight, or you can tell us now? I mean, I know what it is, but we've got to hear you say it. You'll hear later. Okay. Um, what were your thoughts when you got the name for your opponent? Uh, the thoughts that I always have, I suppose, which I don't care. I mean, it's just the name that came up. Uh, coach felt pretty good about it. Um, it really don't matter. We almost this fight almost didn't happen, but you know, I still feel good about it. Why didn't the fight? Why did the fight almost not happen? Well, we was gonna. We was on call for the uh, the situation with the belt. So. So, are you happy that it didn't happen? I mean, are you? What are your thoughts on the way it, it did end up playing out for you? Why would Why would I be happy about not getting a title fight? You get a chance to show no. off. I don't know. No. I, no. I, I don't. I, I don't. I don't do this to show off. I don't do this to fight for no reason. I want what I want so I can get out when I can get out. You know, I want, I want to get in and out. And the longer it takes me to get there, the longer I got to stay. What kind of fight are you expecting from him? I haven't thought about it, to be honest. I mean, I really don't care. I just, me, it's going to be a lot of new YouTube comments saying, Ryan, I don't care, Span. Y'all hear this shit a lot. <laughs> but, I mean, really, it don't matter to me. Um, I'm just going to be me, have fun, like I always do. Everything else lines up. And what are your keys to victory? Have fun. Thank you. Let me show you. This is, this is how, how you do it, by the way. That's my man, like Here a fine wine. So do you envision with the, the win here, do you at least swap positions? And we're talking top five, or do you think with the definitive win here, that should get you back into that title contention nod again? Um... Preferably, preferably, I, like I said, the longer it takes me to get to where I'm trying to go, so the sooner they can give it to me that, the sooner I can take over, you know what I'm saying? And my plan is to get the belt, then I'll leave it for Kennedy. When, when Kennedy is ready, I'll either go up or I'll be done. You guys have always been such great teammates there at that place it's that's refreshing to that's hear that's my brother <laughs> is that something that you guys talk about in advance like you know 100%. just like when you're when you're sweating in the gym you know you guys dream daydreamed is this the sort of thing 100 percent. We, we've been in the mats i have a key to the gym now yeah congrats so we've been in the gym just us by ourselves having these conversations like we we got a plan we we know what we're gonna do coach got a, a vision and he got a path mapped out for us and we're gonna take over you know, in your last looking at your last two wins, you know, against Kudalaba, it was the your patented guillotine choke. But then your last one was off strikes. When you see Krylov, Krylov across the cage, where do you see the best? Advantage? I think it's pronounced Krylov. Krylov, Krylov I think. Yeah. I go back and forth, I, but I pronounce everything wrong. Yeah, I try to get it as right as possible. Man. <laughs> I mean, do you envision that with his style that the striking is going to be where you're, you're going to excel, or do you think that he gives? I don't know his style, brother. I don't, I don't know what he's going to do. I don't care what he's going to try to do. I just know if I have fun and I be calm, I'll see everything. So even if uh, you go in there, you guys immediately stand in the middle of the cage and you're taking some shots. That's still fun for you, isn't it? Taking some strikes just to wake you up and get you get you excited to to hit back with somebody is that fun part of the fun or is it just you want to go in there and have a complete dominant show and that's what makes it fun? How how, how long have we been? I've been here doing this quite a while. Quite a while. 
is anything about me that you've ever seen would make you think that I enjoy that? Hmm. Well, I know you like to hurt people, so are you maybe, maybe. Just because I like to hurt people don't mean I like to get hurt. <laughs> like, that's different. No, I'm good. Like I said, I want to get in and get out, brother. I, I want to get out with all my faculties intact. That's awesome. I see the, uh, the Rubik's Cube up there. You, mm -hmm. you still working on your Rubik's game? Uh, yeah, I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I got a little over, a little overzealous a little bit. I, I got like a five by five. We got to put that bad boy in the closet. We gonna, we gonna, we ain't ready for that. I go to four by four or something. But yeah, I'm getting better. I'm, I'm a lot faster. I'm gonna learn some more uh, algorithms to see if I can speed it up. I want to get it down to seconds. Like I'm still at like maybe two minutes, depending on how I feel that day. So. Can you do it one-handed? Like you see some of the. I ain't that cold. No. <laughs> That's a whole that, I've level. been seeing people do this and like they'll turn it with their bottom hand and. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I got I got to figure all that out. I ain't, ain't got that yet. That's awesome. Best of luck on Saturday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, Ryan. Um, when you said that you were on call for uh, US... What's your name, brother? I ain't never seen you before. Oh, oh yeah. Alex. I can't. It's light. <laughs> um, when, when you said that you were on call for the light heavyweight title fight, did, it, did that mean that uh, if Jamal didn't accept, you were next up? Oh, no. They called me before all that. They called me before it announced that he vacated. Ah. Yeah. So uh, I was uh, going to fight, I want to say, Jan at first. And then from there, they was going. Uh, I, I was going to fight for the number one, guaranteed. And then I'll fight the winner for a, at the time, it was an interim belt. So Magomed and Glover was going to fight for the interim. And then I was going to fight for number one because they already knew that, you know, homie was going to be out for a while. And this, this was after you knocked out Dominic Reyes? Yeah. So you, so you were going to just... Yeah, it was like two weeks before the fight. Yeah, so you were going turn right, to turn right back around yeah. and fight. Yeah. Um, and then I guess finally for me, you know, you're going to say that, you know, if Kennedy makes his way up the rankings. When? When he, 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 he makes his way up the rankings, uh, you go up to heavyweight. I don't know if, if people have not seen you in person. You are a huge human being. So, I mean, is, is, I mean would you want to go to heavyweight? You know, I'm thinking about it. I really, I really want to go back to 85. I got some work that that we didn't that we didn't finish there you know i was kind of unceremoniously i didn't fuck that word up uh you know got put in 205 to come here so i don't know he hates it but you know how i either go up or down we'll see how and how in the hell is that physically possible for you to make middleweight i've done it <laughs> <laughs> i mean <laughs> It is. You're, I mean, you ask how it's possible. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> like, I didn't say it was fun, but I've done it. <laughs> I mean, goddamn, you are huge. You're you're big. <laughs> and you sound like him. <laughs> awesome, dude. He said he'll quit if I want to go to 85. <laughs> uh, I quit too. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. No problem. Does the beard help the chin? You're gonna keep growing out the beard. I like it. It's nice and. Uh, I don't know. A lot bigger than last time we saw. I just don't have time to save. I'm gonna, I, if anything, I'll cut it the night before. We'll see. You're going to shave for a fight night? I'll talk, I'll talk to my wife and daughter and see if they want me to keep it. It's ultimately her. That's pretty much night. how it goes. Yeah. But, I, you know, whatever. It don't, it, it's not like a strategic advantage or anything like that. Awesome. All right, we got one more? Yeah, I got one more. Last time I talked to you, I asked you what's the song you listen to when nobody's around. You said, I listen to what my kids listen to. We talked about Encanto. You know they don't. We don't talk about Bruno. So what do you got? What do you got on the playlist right now? Let's see. Um, my King Superman playlist is what I'm using right now. Um, but what I got weird on here? I don't think I got anything. Everything is some player shit. So uh, Memphis, Memphis. Nah, nah. This one's pretty good. Um. I got half on the sack by Three Six Mafia <laughs> on my workout playlist. So I, I mean, that, maybe that's weird. No, nah, Triple Six. <laughs> the thing is, they're making a comeback. All these hey. TikTok kids are just finding out about Triple Six. Oh no, fucking way! <laughs> oh man, I, I hope they do though. They, that, that's some shit. But yeah, that's the weirdest thing I got right now. Is half on the sack. Sweet. Yeah. Sure. Weird shit. All right, thank y'all.